The insane amount of power that you get with smartphones like the iPhone 13 Pro Max means that you can shoot pretty decent video. Oh, decent video is okay, but what if you wanna go cinematic? In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can take the Sandmark Motion Variable Filter and turn your iPhone 13 Pro Max into a pro filming beast. Make sure you stick around to the end because I'm gonna show you how you can set this filter up with ProTake to get that natural Hollywood realistic motion blur. Let's do this. What is going on? It's Anil, and ever since the iPhone 13 Pro Max came out, I've been looking for an ND filter that can take my filmmaking to the next level. I mean, these phones shoot amazing video these days, but it still looks like it's been shot on a smartphone. You get what I call iPhone footage syndrome. You can instantly tell that a video has been filmed on a smartphone. It looks sharp, jagged, and choppy. It just looks crap. The main reason for this is the standard camera app on phones like this is trying to compensate for light. And all of that leads to that choppy, horrible looking footage. Now I recently found a brand called Sandmark and they sell a whole range of quality filters for iPhones. Now the promise here is I can get rid of that iPhone footage syndrome and create amazing pro looking Hollywood style videos with that natural motion blur. And we're gonna see just how awesome this setup is. As usual with videos like this, we're gonna do an unboxing. We're gonna have a look at build quality, design, performance, price. But before we get into all of that, I took the family out to the Cotswold last week. We had a little bit of lunch. It was the perfect time to test out this filter and shoot some footage. So let's go and check out those results. Wait, before we do that, make sure you hit that like button. Okay, okay. So first impressions and unboxing. I was impressed with Sanmar. The kit was ordered, shipped and delivered all within four days. That's really cool because I'm in the UK, Sanmar are over the pond in the US. Four days, that's impressive. Unboxing experience was great. The quality of the packaging was fantastic. I honestly felt like I purchased some really, really quality gear. So having a look at the products that I chose and the price, I went for the Motion Variable ND filter, which is around $100. It does come with a universal clip, but I hate those clips. So I went ahead and purchased their Pro Case, which was an additional $40. So in total, $140 all in. And was it great value? Well, you're gonna have to stick around to the end of the video to find out. So first up, the Motion Variable ND Filter. The build quality of this is amazing. There is a good amount of weight to the product. It feels solid, it feels well built. The movement of the ring is fantastic. And the filter came with a really nice looking case to keep it protected and also, they give you a step up ring so you can use it with their pro cases with the 17 millimeter thread. Now ND filters are great for reducing the amount of light hitting your iPhone sensor. This particular ND filter is variable, so it's adjustable by three to six stops. So using an ND filter like this with a smartphone like the iPhone 13 Pro Max gives you full control over manual settings like shutter speed and ISO. All of this can help you maintain something called the 180 degree rule. This is the rule that gives you that natural Hollywood motion blur. You know, that natural motion blur that you can see in Hollywood films. And to achieve it is so simple. All you need to do is double your shutter speed to the frame rate you're shooting. So for example, if you're shooting 4K at 25 frames per second, you would set your shutter speed to one over 50. I mentioned earlier that the iPhone standard camera app, you have no control over those manual settings. So you're gonna have to invest in a pro camera. And for this video, I'm using ProTake. And we're gonna have a look at how you can set this up using ProTake a little bit later on. So let's move on to the case because like I said, I don't like those little universal clips. I want a proper case that I can 
screw the filters into. Sandmark do their pro cases, which I have to say, it's very good quality. You can feel straight away that this is made of some good stuff. It's MagSafe compatible and it has a microfiber inner lining, which looks cool, but also is great for protecting the phone and it makes it easier to slide that phone in and out. The 17 millimeter thread means that this case is compatible with Sandmark's full range of lenses, as well as their filters. You will never need to buy another case again. So let's have a look at how you can set this filter up in ProTake. Now ProTake isn't a free app. You're gonna have to pay for the pro features. But if you're watching this video and you're interested in ND filters, you're quite serious about your filmmaking. So you're gonna spend that little bit extra money, get ProTake and you're ready to go. Once you've loaded ProTake, you can tap on the bottom right where it says auto and select pro. You will notice that you have loads of pro features on the screen now. Tap on the settings icon in the top right under record you can set your pro options. I shoot in 4K with a 10 bit SDR in the color space. Then under data, you can choose the video encoding. Now I find that ProRes 422 proxy is the best option for quality versus space. Now if you have the space on your phone, I would recommend using ProRes 422 proxy. Back on the main screen, you can then choose your frame rate. I normally choose 25 frames per second. So next you wanna set your shutter speed. And remember, you wanna take advantage of that 180 degree rule. So you need to double your shutter speed to your frame rate. So I'm setting mine to 1 over 50 as my frame rate is set at 25 frames per second. Also remember to set your ISO as low as possible and lock in your white balance so you don't get any color shifts when you're filming. Now you can simply twist that variable ND filter until the image is correctly exposed. Use the histogram graph to expose your shot correctly. You don't want to see any of those big spikes on either side of the graph. You want all the levels to be spread across evenly and you're ready to shoot some footage. So let's talk about usability and performance because I've got to tell you guys, using this setup was an absolute pleasure. I had so much fun filming with this ND filter and the case is an absolute joy. Screwing in the filter, I pretty much screwed it in first time every time. Like I mentioned before, the actual movement of the ring was so smooth. Adjusting your filter on the move to compensate for the lighting conditions, it was just easy, easy as pie. I didn't notice any degradation of video quality. Sam Mark have got some real quality in the glass, but, and there is a but, there is one negative. Sam Mark don't include a cap for the filter. And this is really annoying because when you're out and about and you're shooting, you know, you've got your family, maybe you've got kids, you might want to keep that filter on your phone, stick it in your pocket. You can't do that with the Sandmark filter. You have to take it off, put it away or cover the phone up. It's a very small thing, I know, but it has a massive amount of inconvenience if you're a smartphone filmmaker. So Sandmark, please, please include a cap for your filters or just sell it separately. I would buy the cap, seriously, just make one. So to wrap up, overall, I would, I definitely would recommend this. I think for $140, it's great value for money because the quality of everything, the case, the filter, the carrier case, it's all top notch. You're not gonna get the same results for any of those cheap ND filters that you find on Amazon, those clip on ones. Don't waste your money, invest in something like the Sandmark Variable ND Filter Kit. This right here is awesome. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and you got some value out of it. Please check out this other video here if you wanna learn more about filmmaking with your smartphone and I'll see you in the next one.